Hey guys, it's your girl Bella Novi. Thank you guys so much for tuning back to my channel. So in today's video, like, y'all know why y'all here. Y'all know, $150 foundation, okay? So, if you guys wanna <laughs> hear my thoughts on whether or not it is worth it, if you wanna see how it performs, if you wanna see how it applies, then make sure that you guys stay tuned, okay? Yeah, so um, anyways, Happy New Year, guys. Um, I love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure that you guys share. Um, I really wanna hear your thoughts. Have you ever used this foundation before? Do you know anyone that used this foundation before? Um, what do you think when I apply it today? Um, make sure that you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I'm gonna give you guys the real tea on if this um, foundation is worth, you know, $150. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look right here, then stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, so we are here. Now, let me tell you something. $150 foundation when i say this it, it just better be flawless from start to finish there's no way around it like 150 dollars there's literally no way around it it has to be flawless from beginning to end guys i mean packaging i mean the whole experience from the coverage everything okay everything okay so y'all here it is, Ooh, what y'all been waiting for. This is the packaging. Now, I love Tom Ford's packaging. Um, like this bronzy brown color, it reminds me of Hourglass. That's the first thing that I like why I fell in love with the brand Hourglass because of this bronzy kind of a color, like this brown color. So it's the Tom Ford, it says Shade and Illuminate, Soft Radiance Foundation, Broad Spectrum, uh, SPF 50 in it. And this is one fluid ounces. Apply liberally and evenly 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply at least, at least every two hours. Use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming in water. Okay. I got the shade uh, 10.5, which is mocha. Okay. Before I actually open it up, okay, I'm going to uh, just kind of briefly just see what it says online. I mean, like $150, guys. One thing I can tell you is the weight is definitely there. I'm all about packaging and the weight is definitely here. It's heavy for sure, okay? Um, so it just says online right now, I'm on Tom Ford and it just says um, radiant, nourishing, medium full coverage. Okay, shade and illuminate soft radiance foundation with SPF 50. Merges three-dimensional radiance with three-dimensional skincare, um, the medium to full coverage foundation. So, I mean, it says that they merge skincare. Yeah, it says that they merge skincare with this. Um, I guess because the FPS uh, 50 that's in it. And, um, oh my gosh, I'm like super excited. So this is the packaging. This is what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to open this up for you guys. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ooh. Okay, so right away I see, when you first open it up, you see the Tom Ford right there. It has the TF at the top, and I'm just going to slide it over. Oh man, so it has the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. Oh my gosh. Like, are you guys seeing this? Like, oh, I hope this is my shade, y'all. I swear, I hope it's my shade. And if it's not my shade for $150, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna make it work. <laughs> We're gonna make it work, y'all. 
So I'm shaking it up. Um, so right now, let's see, it has a pump on there. Hopefully you guys can see. So it has a little white pump right there. Let's see, does this come off? Oh, okay, it actually does screw off. So you can actually screw your top off, which is pretty cool. Because a lot of products, um, they that pump and things like that, you cannot open them. That's it. Okay, so this is the top. So right away, so my thoughts on packaging is, <laughs> it's worth $150, just from the packaging alone. Now, I have been wearing NARS foundation for years, okay? I've been, listen, die hard NARS, okay? And I love my NARS. I love my NARS packaging um, and everything. But this right here is giving me like, stop playing. Like even if you was to pull this out of your bag, like, you on another level right away it's definitely giving me luxury vibes it's definitely like the weight of it the gold detail it's definitely giving me you spent 150 dollars on this packaging based on the other foundations that i've seen before so it definitely stands out in that aspect of it um from the box from the packaging like it definitely stands out I'm a little bit shook right now, y'all, because I don't know what this is going to look like. I don't know. So let me, first things first, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. It's so heavy, and it has a shade down at the bottom. I don't have a Tom Ford um, primer, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, if you guys are seeing my skin and, and seeing that it is just looking fabulous, that J. Lo Beauty, you gotta check out my review on that. Like, seriously, I prep my skin with that like I would normally do before doing makeup. And when I tell you, like, stop it. This right here, this is the J Lo Beauty, the, um, it's like a, a face illuminator or something like that, like a skin enhancer or something. Like, yeah, skin booster, I believe it's called. This is what's on the cheek, uh, up here. Are you kidding me right now? Like, stop it. It is looking gorgeous. So I'm just going to, um, I'm just gonna take my YSL, I'm just gonna take my YSL gold, uh, the gold one, I'm just gonna take my primer and I'm just going to prime my face as I normally would before putting on foundation. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Okay. And so yeah, how have you guys been? Are you guys excited? Like, like let me tell you guys, $150, like when I tell you this foundation, I better be getting up and like jumping out of my seat, like for real, for $150. I'm so excited. How's it going guys? How's your new year's going? How's everything going? All right, you guys, so my um, primer is down. My YSL primer is down. Now that I have laid that down, um, my eyebrows, already did my eyebrows off camera um, and the, the eyebrow pencil that I use to fill them is actually a pencil. And I use the Aveda uh, Brow Definer pencil in the shade uh, 04 dark brown. This is what it looks like. So I've already taken care of that. Just in case you guys were wondering um, what I use for my eyebrows, it's an actual pencil. This is what it looks like. Okay, so that's already done. Skin is prepped. We are ready to go to get into this foundation, y'all. So I'm just going to shake it up. It doesn't say shake it up, but I'm so used to shaking up my NARS so I'm just gonna just shake this up. Let's do that. So right away, I'm noticing that it is definitely, um, it is definitely a lot more watery than anything else. I don't know if it's, it's literally um, like running down my hand. So it's a lot more watery than any other foundation that I've ever tried. That is definitely for sure. So I'm just going to, um, 
I'm actually gonna take my brush. I'm gonna take my Hourglass um, number two brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to pick up some of the product and I'm going to apply and see what happens. Oh my gosh, y'all wish me luck. Okay. It does have a little smell to it. Nothing like heavy, but it does have a little. Okay, y'all. Now, I've been using NARS for years, and I swear by NARS that NARS is the best and um like kind of like natural skin, but just right away, y'all, just no buffing, no nothing. Do you see that? So it's $150, but it's coming off like it is definitely worth every, like, oh my gosh, Tom Ford, stop playing. So the coverage is definitely giving me, um, like, it's definitely giving me, like, NARS vibes for for coverage um so I'm just going to apply and I'm just dabbing <laughs> y'all I'm souped up <laughs> this foundation is might be a better match than my NARS because see I love the NARS one but it kind of comes off a little light like i wish it had a little more color into it and but it's just perfect like so i just never changed it and this right here is giving me all kinds of vibes right now like gosh. when i say y'all i am impressed do y'all see the skin right now like Are you seeing this? Like, oh my gosh, like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, what is my new favorite foundation? Like, just depending on like wearing, like how the wear test goes, why does my new favorite foundation have to be $150, y'all? Hmm? Why? Why does it have to be $150? Like, why? I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it, y'all. It's definitely giving me that NARS vibe. Like, you know, like, like a little goes a long way and it's giving me skin-like vibes. It's definitely giving me... Oh my gosh, this is the perfect color. This color is perfect, y'all. Like, <laughs> is y'all seeing? I'm <laughs> souped up, y'all. Oh my gosh, like... Like the finish and everything, y'all. Y'all gonna stop playing. Back of my hands and I'm just gonna dab that all over. Look at this. Y'all. So then, then I'm just gonna go in with um, my damp, um, my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to just go over just lightly just to buff out everything. Y'all, I'm like, Y'all gonna stop playing. Are y'all seeing this right now? Do y'all see this? What? <laughs> Tom Ford came through. Stop playing Tom Ford. Now, $150 now. Now, Tom Ford. 
is it worth $150 so far? Um, yes, it is. I'm not even going to lie to you. This match, it definitely is. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I'm so souped up right now. I'm so souped up. <laughs> I'm so happy. All right, guys. So, this foundation, I mean nothing. No concealer. I didn't spot correct. I didn't do anything. Just foundation to skin. And are you seeing what I'm seeing? Do you see this? And I didn't drag it down all the way down here. I didn't do none of all that, all that, no. I just applied, I think it was like two pumps, maybe. Um, so I'm just gonna take my same hourglass brush um, that I applied my foundation with and I'm just going to go into my Laura Mercier. Um, this is my translucent medium deep. I'm just going to take my pressed powder and I'm just going to go over my face with this powder. just to set everything into place. Y'all, this 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 foundation is I'm 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 like I'm I'm a little bit upset. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm upset because we am going to get $150 from to keep buying this foundation. Because I can't put nothing else on my face. Do y'all see this match? How are you guys doing? Like, are you guys excited for 2021? Like, cause I got some fire for y'all on my channel. So make sure that y'all got hit that notification bell. So that way you guys are like notified. So the next thing that I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go in with my uh, Tom Ford. Um, this is like a skin luminizer, I believe it's called. It's the Skin Illuminating Powder uh, Duo. Like this, like I love like these two together. Oh my gosh! Like stop it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Elf. Um, I'm gonna take my Elf blush brush. This is what it looks like. Do like rub some here, rub some here. I'm just gonna go back and forth um, between the two. I'm just going to take this brush and I'm going to dip that into the darker shade in the dual palette that I was just in. And I'm just going to so I'm just going to put that there. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to go over it. And I'm also going to go over the sides as well. Yo, this is so pretty. Like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm just looking so luminous right now. Yes. All right, guys. So I just put on, I didn't even put on a lot of mascara. I just put on one coat of mascara. 
Um, and in my water line, I used, um, let me see. I used this pencil, it's called the Extreme Lasting. It's made by Essence. And this is a waterproof eye pencil and it's in the shade Silky Nude. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like here. So I put this in my waterline, just so you can see. So yeah, that to my waterline. Um, some mascara, you already know, L'Oreal Voluminous um, Last Paradise. And um, yeah, and then on the eyes, I put no um, eyeshadow at all. I just used a little bit of my NARS, uh, my NARS, in the shade Casino. This is the bronzing powder. This is what it looks like. I just used a little bit of this on, on my eye, just a little bit. All right. So now that we have that, y'all, this foundation, like my skin has never looked so good. Like, uh, like makeup wise, foundation makeup has never looked so good. Like, I don't know if it's because I put on that JLo Beauty, uh, earlier and my skin is just i don't know what it is um but the only two things that are different is jlo beauty and this tom ford um foundation this tom ford foundation is literally worth every penny guys like literally i am in the shade mocha so i'm just going to take a little bit this is my hour uh, my hourglass veil soft focus setting spray i'm just going to take Take this setting spray and I'm just gonna Okay. Yo, my skin, I can't even stop. I'm trying to like not look at the monitor. I'm trying to look at the camera. But like literally, y'all, my skin is looking great. So um while my skin is still a little fresh from like a little wet, I'm going to take um I'm gonna take my elf. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Uh, fan brush. This is what it looks like. I'm going to take my e.l.f. fan brush. And I'm going to go in with, um, I mean, I'm already glowing up, y'all. But it just just to be extra, I'm just going to take my time forward. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, this is the packaging. This is the time for Radiant Perfecting Powder. Tom Ford, what? Tom Ford is not playing. <laughs> Tom Ford do not play. I feel like, what have I been doing? Like, why did I not start off with Tom Ford? Like, what's going on? I know what it was. I kind of wanted to develop some sort of a technique, something first before I start, you know. But, so now that I have that one, I'm going to, I'm going to take my, um, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip liner and I don't know the color. It's just lip liner. I don't know. It's this shade right here. I'm just going to take this one and I'm just going to apply it onto my lips. I need to sharpen it. I love this lip liner. Like, Elf did they thing. That uh, Retro Paradise, that lip liner is so pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with my um, Burberry. Mm -hmm. 
lip contour and this is in the shade i believe four it's in dark number four yeah so this is my burberry oh my gosh my favorite mm, i love it <laughs> it's my favorite so i'm gonna take that and it's like a crayon kind of like a lip like a lip crayon so i'm just gonna take some of this and i'm just going to line my lip this because it's like it's not just brown it has like a little hint of like purple in it a little bit or like plum so I'm just gonna take my finger and just fills And then I'm going to go in on top. I'm going to apply my, I'm going to go in with my Tom Ford um, lip gloss. And my Tom Ford lip gloss is, um, it, this is in the shade uh, Naked, number one. This is what it looks like. Looks like this and it has the Tom Ford up there. And then this is what the bottom looks like. I'm just going to take some and see as this is what the applicator looks like. I'm just going to take a little bit and and done. That's it, y'all. So what y'all think? <laughs> All right, guys. So my final thoughts on this Tom Ford um, foundation that cost $150. In my opinion, um, it is the best foundation that I have ever placed onto my skin. It is the best foundation. It is the best um, coverage. It is the best shade match. Like, I am so shocked. I was a little bit taken I was like oh my gosh like I'm on the website on Tom Ford and I'm looking around and I'm like I don't think that these shades are gonna match me I don't know if it's just that mindset of like you know like luxury brands and women of color I don't know what it is but I honestly did not think that the shade was gonna match as great as it did this is literally the best shade match ever in my whole entire life. Um, now, I've been wearing NARS for years, and I love NARS um, just because NARS kind of gave me that what I was missing from, like, MAC. You know, I didn't want to look orange. So, with me wearing NARS for years, I was just so satisfied. There was just one thing that I could not pinpoint. It was just the shade. It was just a little off for me. I was in the shade Macau, 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 and it was just a little, little, if I had a little red, a little color in there, would have been perfect, a little warmness. So for me to have this shade right here, this is like what I have been missing. It is perfect and it is beautiful. The color, the coverage of it is like that medium to full and I love medium to full because for me, I feel like medium to full gives you skin like. Um, you know, whatever works for you works for you, but I'm not really a big fan of full coverage because it just looks like a mask or maybe people just wear it too much or cakey. I don't know, but um, I love um, that skin like appearance that you get from medium full. So for me, this is definitely um, giving me that skin like glow, like everything, like <laughs> I am so in love right now and I'm so happy. I'm just, the only downside is it's $150. Like, are you kidding me? But, I mean, is it worth it? Absolutely. Like, the packaging, like, everything about it screams $150 from the way that it looks onto my, on my skin, from the packaging, like, everything about it is just like, like, Tom Ford, like, come on. Like, they definitely know what they're doing. And... I'm just so happy. I'm just so pleased. I'm so happy. Um, there is no complaints whatsoever. Um, maybe more darker shades, maybe. I'm not really sure. But like um, from looking at the website, 
but this shade right here y'all like i've never felt so beautiful in foundation before like i don't even know how else to describe it like um so my final thoughts are if you can afford to get it i would definitely definitely get it um some what i would suggest that you do is go to tom ford website and maybe sign up for their email subscription um sign up for their membership or something like that so maybe if it's a sale or or something going on um i don't know <laughs> but definitely like you need this foundation like women of color like you have to stop with the mindset that luxury brands are not here for us because they are like this is the best foundation i've ever had in my whole entire life of playing in makeup the best like there's nothing that i would change not one thing that i would change from packaging from the experience that i had opening it like i would not change not one thing so time for i definitely appreciate what you have done like ladies you need this ladies males in between on the outside wherever you are <laughs> you definitely need to try this foundation out like are you kidding me like i didn't even have to set it i put a little laura mercier on top but i didn't even have to set it this foundation is everything i didn't highlight i didn't do any of that stuff i didn't add any concealer i didn't spot correct i didn't color correct i didn't do anything at all i just put on my primer and i literally just went straight in I didn't put concealer on my eyes. I didn't do anything. All you see is all foundation. And for me, that's how it's supposed to be. You shouldn't need those steps. That should be, you know, what you want to do. You shouldn't need those steps to cover things up if you're putting from putting on foundation. So for me, they definitely checked that off. Like they got the coverage, they got the packaging. Like, oh my gosh, like I'm just so happy and um, yeah, so is it worth it? Absolutely. Why the hype is not going, like why people are not talking about this, I have no idea. I stumbled upon it myself personally. Um, so yeah, like seriously. Oh yeah, that skin, skin um, duo thingy, skin, I, I don't know. I need to start remembering names of the products that I buy. <laughs> but the skin duo, like are you serious right here? Like you see how this looks? no bronzer no contour no none of that just straight up i just mixed both shades and swiped it across and it has given me the dimensions that my cheekbones need to look how they look it so yeah is the foundation worth it guys absolutely i mean do look at look i mean just look look at my face what do you think so yeah those are my thoughts. Um, you should absolutely buy it. <laughs> so yeah, it is great, guys. I'm telling you, like, if it was just the name thing, I would so tell you guys. I mean, I was waiting. I was. I'm not even gonna lie. I was kind of waiting for that. Like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna chew you. I'm gonna get you time for. But time for got me. Okay, they got me hooked, and I'm hooked. That's it. Like, are you serious? This shade is bomb. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's your girl, Wella Milby. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, um, and share. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time.